Hello, it's Tess Whitehurst, and we're in the new space, way up in the Rocky Mountains. So it's super fun, new space, I'm super excited. And today I want to talk to you about um, one not so little tip for supercharging your magic. <laughs> and that tip is to release limiting beliefs and release self-sabotage. So. Listen, just yesterday morning, no, Saturday morning, um, Saturn went direct. And what that means is we have been since March, we've been going through like deep inner issues, like really, really deep inner issues have been coming up. You probably have been feeling them. And then now we're kind of getting more perspective and sort of integrating what we've learned and kind of going through the final like graduation of that. And Thursday, we have early Thursday morning, we have the Aquarius full moon. So this is a perfect time to really look at our limiting beliefs and the ways that we're sabotaging ourselves because when we work magic, you know, maybe we're doing a ritual for love or for um, abundance or something, success. Our magic will work so much better if we are able to look at the things that we may be, and, and it can sometimes be, it's like, sort of like um, being like Indiana Jones in your own psyche. <laughs> you know, you're like, searching for these limiting beliefs and it, it's like continuous work. It's like there's layers and there's different things that we encounter and there's different like spiraling aspects of limiting beliefs that we have. And when we can look at this as part of our work as magical practitioners to really investigate the ways that we're limiting ourselves through our beliefs and then let go of them, it's like we just become more and more expansive. Actually doing rituals becomes less and less necessary because we're kind of getting more and more into that magical flow. So, um, so recent, just recently, I feel like one of my things from the Saturn um, in being in retrograde was really looking deeply at deep old relationship issues that I've been carrying around since childhood. This belief, and I just didn't even see that it was there. This belief that I am a bad daughter, bad friend, bad girlfriend, and like any relationship I ever have, I just have to always be atoning and working really hard to not be such a bad person. <laughs> so kind of a biggie, kind of such a biggie. I didn't see it for a really long time. And yay for me, I figured out it was there. And also, ow, it hurt so much. It hurt so much to realize it and then to move through it and to let it go. So that's why I say it's not such a little tip. <laughs> it's, it's a big tip, but it's so worth it. You know, it's so worth it to not just numb out, but to really be like, what is that? I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna figure it out, I'm gonna feel it, and I'm gonna move through it, and I'm gonna be honest about it, and it might be messy, and it might really hurt, <laughs> okay? So that's my not so little tip for you. Look at the limiting beliefs, look at the self-sabotage, move through it, release it, question it, be honest about it, and let it heal. And try to not be super hard on yourself for it as you're doing it, okay? So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon.